Hi, this is Farooq Hashmi from thinkingneuron.com. In this video, I am going to discuss what is NAPE. First, we'll understand what it means, then when to use it, and then we will discuss what are some of the pros and cons of using NAPE. So let's get started. So what is MAPE? It is the short form of mean absolute percentage error and as the name suggests it tries to measure some error. What error? The error between the original values and the prediction values. <clears throat> and when this situation arises, this is something you do when you are producing numbers or you are predicting numbers. And when do you predict numbers? Using regression model. So when you create a regression model, which is a supervised machine learning technique, so you are creating a model which is trying to predict a continuous number. So number like sales or demand, let's say number of passengers, etc so so when you are trying to predict a number you have predicted a number for let's say one month from now what are the number of passengers will come and then you will compare that prediction with the actual value right so how do you know that how good your prediction was or how accurate your prediction was so this is where the absolute percentage error comes into picture for example take this second row over here in the table uh, original let's say number of passengers were 31 and you had predicted earlier 30 so what is the accuracy of your prediction so we try to see how much far away 30 is from 31 so if you want to compute the uh, difference between two numbers the percentage difference between two numbers so how do you do 31 minus 30 divided by 31 this is the uh, this is the value which you try to compute as the percentage difference and when you take the absolute of it and then multiply this whole thing by 100 this is nothing but the absolute percentage error so the computation is like the 3.2 percent which you are seeing here is nothing but 30 is 3.2 percent far away from 31 similarly look at this 12.1 percent 29 is the prediction how far away it is from the actual value 33 so 12.1 percent 20 29 is 12.1 percent far away from 33 similarly 40 is 5.3 percent far away from 38 so for every prediction we are calculating how far away it is from the actual value or from the original value so in in general you can say the absolute percentage error is nothing but the absolute value of original minus the predictions divided by the original value everything multiplied by 100 okay so this gives you the absolute percentage error and when you take the mean of that well let's say you take the mean of all the absolute percentage errors which are occurring in your data then you get mape this is what is known as mape or mean absolute percentage error or mean of all the absolute percentage errors which you are getting in every case okay so what does this number tells me so this 11.4 over here is telling me that while I am doing all the predictions these four predictions on an average I am making 11.4 percentage of error so on an average my predictions are 11.4 percent far away from the original value so if I know that on an average how far away my predictions are or what is the error I am making I can get the accuracy and this is where the MAPE is used to measure the accuracy of regression models so this 100 minus MAPE gives you the accuracy for the regression model now sometimes there is a trouble with MAPE and this is when we utilize median APE okay so let's let's discuss that trouble first and I'll come back to this median APE calculation uh, using that now sometimes the mean absolute percentage error can be really huge okay and this is when we use median value as well sometimes we try to see the median value I'll illustrate that 
in the next section where I'll discuss the pros and cons of MAPE. So what are some of the pros? So the very straightforward pro. is easy to explain metric to client so we use this to explain accuracy to client let's say you are you are deploying a model which is predicting the sales of a particular product so you have predicted that in the next month this this much sales are going to happen let's say you have predicted the sales as thousand units and the month passed and the actual sales came so the actual sales turned turned out to be 950 so what you have predicted versus what actually came out what actually turned out there is some difference in it and it always happens it is not always 100 percent accurate so how my client or how your client will understand the difference between this the actual value or the actual sales versus the predicted sales by simply comparing these two numbers and the best way or the easiest way to compare two numbers is finding out the percentage difference Okay, so every prediction you make can be measured as uh, the distance from the actual value. So the percentage difference from the actual value can be computed as the absolute percentage error. And when you do this for multiple cases, the average of that is nothing but your MAPE. Okay, so it's very easy to explain this metric to your clients. So they relate to it as compared to other metric like uh, uh, RMSE. Or MSE, MAE. So these are relative metrics. So these are relative. Relative means what? Uh, you cannot use this for cal calculating your accuracy because for different scale of data, it will produce some different numbers. Okay, and you cannot. You will not be able to do hundred minus RMSE or MSE. So. MAPE is the go-to metric whenever we are trying to explain the accuracy. Okay. Now let's discuss what is the drawback of MAPE. MAPE is affected by outliers. Affected by outlier means what? Let's take an example. Let's say there are some original sales you are do capturing and you, there are some predictions. And you are calculating its absolute percentage error. Okay, so I'm not writing down all the numbers, but just some examples of absolute percentage error. So let's say you committed 2% error here, 5% here, 1% here, 10%, 12%. So on and so forth and all of a sudden you see an absolute percentage error which is 500 percent so one of the scenarios which i can write down is the original was 10 and the prediction is let's say 60. so i'm using simple numbers so that you can understand the difference so here 10 and 60 are very far away uh, percentage wise if you see they are 500 percent far away okay so if you want to compute this so it is 10 minus 60 divided by 10 take the absolute value of it and multiply this whole thing by 100 and what you get is nothing but 500 percent difference between 10 and 60. so so what difference does it make to our accuracy number so if you take the average value of all these percentage errors so this average value will inflate simply because of the presence of this outlier error which is 500 percent now just for the sake of example let's say this this calculates roughly to 110 so the MAPE which you have calculated is 110 percent mean absolute percentage error so if you subtract it by 100 what you get is minus 10 percent accuracy now if you if you pass this minus 10 percent accuracy to a business person they will feel 
terribly confused okay so instead of so instead of showcasing the mean value which is affected by outliers we can still showcase something else which is nothing but the median value so if you remember from early theory why median was invented so it is invented because the mean is affected by outliers and we still need some measure to uh, represent the central tendency now if i plot this absolute percentage error here and we mark this outlier as this 500 value uh, which is coming over here so if you calculate so here this is frequency uh, if you calculate the mean value so it is shifted towards the outlier so somewhere over here your mean value will come or the MAPE will come but if you look for the median value median is nothing but the data point which divides the overall set of numbers into two equal halves arranged when you arrange them in increasing order so this is where your median will lie so median absolute percentage will be here so when we when we are finding MAP our whole goal is to try to understand on an average how much error my model is making and if that on an average error is beyond 100 we can still look at the central tendency of the errors by looking at the median value of it and by looking at it we can make a make a easy to understand statement like 50 percent of the predictions which are made by the model they have error less than this much so you can create now the new accuracy metric as 100 minus median ape okay because the mean value is turning out to be more than 100 and uh, practically speaking we always take a look at the median value and the mean value uh, in contrast to each other and we make sure that they are not too far away because if they are too far away then we have some serious outlier issues in our data like the example which we are seeing here so always whenever we compute mape we also compute median ape as well and we try to look at the difference in an ideal world like the bell curve of um, uh, the errors we will get mape and median ape as same value so median ape and uh, mean AP will be exactly same if the errors are properly distributed but if there are error but if there are errors which are really huge then the median AP would be smaller and mean AP would be much higher all right so I hope this clarifies what is mean absolute percentage error and you will be able to explain it in your interviews all the best and I hope you can